Moses opened the Red Sea. David defeated Goliath. The walls of Jericho collapsed. Many in the Bible overcame, and so can you. It seemed impossible for this person. Nothing is impossible for he who believes. Starting now, beyond living. It is now 8.30 a.m. and you will be with us until 9 a.m. You can prepare your cup or bottle of water for the moment of prayer. Hello my friends, a special good morning to all of you. Today is Wednesday and today here we are to show to you how the promises of God cannot fail. Those of you who are watching us from Trinidad and Tobago or any other country, the living God that we serve has the power to visit you wherever you are. He has the power to touch your life, to heal you and to set you free. It doesn't matter where you at at this present moment. But why? Because his word says like this, God is not a man that he should lie, nor a son of man that he should repent. Has he said and will he not do? Or has he spoken and will he not make it good? God promised that he is omnipresent, he can be anywhere at the same time in the same way that he's here with us he's there with you and i guarantee you that if you obey his voice you are going to be able to see the over eight thousand promises that god made being fulfilled in your life and as a proof of that i'm going to show to you right now a testimony of someone who proved someone who put God to the test and has seen his promises being fulfilled in his life in the same way if you do what we tell you to do the way we tell you to do you are going to see it working for you as well 389-9880 or 709-8062 those are my whatsapp numbers you can call you can text me right now i'm going to have your name placed into the holy oil for the prayer send me your name send me a request and don't forget to prepare your bottle or your glass of water because in the opportunity i'm going to be praying for you Hi, my name is Latita Patterson here in South Carolina. I come into the University Church. I learned how to become a faithful tither. And by becoming a faithful tither, I learned how to give my first fruits to the Lord, my first tithes out of my pay. I was actually going through a situation um, due to a relationship that I wasn't a relationship I was going through that was bad and end up going breaking up I wasn't able to keep up with my bills and my mortgage I was actually behind on my mortgage wasn't able to pay it and by coming to the church I learned how to become a faithful tither and I put a test on the altar because the money that I had wasn't enough to actually pay for the foreclosure of my home so I put my what all that I had into, out of my checkings account. I would draw everything out of checkings and I took it and I placed it on the altar. When I placed that money on the altar, I received what I was looking for. I actually received a call back from the bank, letting me know that the home is no longer in foreclosure. And after that, doors just started opening for me. God continued to bless me. There was a door where I received a, a new job, a better job than the one that I was a, that I received, actually paying more money to help me to take care of my bills and my children. And I actually received, brought me another car. A new car I was able to drive around in a 
a better model car than I had. The one that I had was giving me mechanical issues, but I was able to get a better car by putting my test on the altar and I don't regret doing it. The Lord said to Gideon, The people are still too many. Bring them down to the water, and I will test them for you there. So he brought the people down to the water. And the Lord said to Gideon, Everyone who laps from the water with his tongue, as a dog laps, you shall set apart by himself. Likewise, everyone who gets down on his knees to drink. And the number of those who lapped, putting their hand to their mouth, was 300 men. But all the rest of the people got down on their knees to drink water. Then the Lord said to Gideon, By the 300 men who lapped, I will save you and deliver the Midianites into your hand. This place was where 31,700 were proven to be weak and complacent with their situation. And only 300 people passed God's test. And through them, an entire nation was saved. God wants to show His power in your life. But for this to happen, you must test your faith in God and prove that you are capable of receiving His blessing. And this test is your faithfulness in your tithes. When you return your tithes, you are proving to God that you are ready to receive His greatness in your life. June will be the month of test. Praise God. 389-9880 and also 709-8062. Those are my WhatsApp numbers that you can call or text me now. I have here some people that have sent me their request. I have someone from Tobago who does not want to be identified. Uh, did a surgery on the foot and also has pain. I also have here uh, Myra Timu. Uh, she's a victim of witchcraft, has a stage for cancer and also family problems. Miss Myra, your name is right here into the holy oil. I also have here Janelle, wants total healing. Janelle, your name is here. Salisha and also Balkran, family problems. The son is addicted to marijuana and cursing them. Your name, the name of your son is right here. Yvonne Hebert, prayers for my family. Her daughter healed also and the son was killed. Oh God, we are going to pray for you and for your son now. Sherry Ann, relationship problems and also chest pain. My friend, the fulfillment of God's promise is very close to you. You just need to do what He tells you to do and how to do. This upcoming Friday, that's going to be Labor Day, 7 in the morning, 8.30 in the morning, and also 10 o'clock in the morning. We are going to have three main services. We are going to have those services dedicated to those of you who have been laboring for the longest while in your life. You are a person that you have been working from your 10, 12, from your 15 years old, 20 years old, you have been working for 20, 30, 40, 50 years of your life. You are even retired already, but yet you didn't build nothing. You don't have nothing. Everything that you have in your life, my friend, is just small. Everything that you have cannot compare to the same years that you have been working hard in your life. This Friday when you come to the church Labor Day holiday, we are going to be adding flavor to your finances. We are going to be adding flavor to your life. 
That's the reason why, my friend, I read for you. Let me read again. God is not a man that he should lie, nor a son of man that he should repent. Has he said and will he not do? Or has he spoken and will he not make it good? My friend, God will add flavor to your life this Friday. You are going to watch some other testimonies of people that God has added flavor into their lives. And so he's going to add flavor into your life this Friday as well. My name is Vanessa Giddens. For the past four months, I was supposed to expect some money to come to my hand. And due to that, I wasn't getting it. So every week and month, I would be checking and see if the money was in my possession. But it was not there. So one day I decided to take part in a challenge. I needed an urgent answer because I was unhappy of the things was happening into my life. After I did my challenge, I decided to go and check because I believe that God is going to answer me. After the challenge, what I was waiting for four months, God had put it into my hand and he gave me an urgent miracle that today I'm happy and being faithful to him, I get my breakthrough. And by, tie, by returning your tithes and offering, God will bless you the same way that he blessed me. Perhaps with all the situation the world is facing nowadays, you feel lonely, frustrated, and have no one to talk to. Perhaps you're under quarantine and isolated from loved ones and going to church and speaking to a pastor face to face is no longer an option. Thinking about you, the Universal Church created the online pastor live chat. 24 hours a day, pastors are on standby to listen to you, give a word of faith and pray for you and your family. Completely free and confidential. To access this service, visit ulfn.org slash online pastor when you click on the specific problem or the speak to a pastor button a dialog box will pop up fill in your information agree to the terms and begin chatting immediately you have three options text, voice, and video. Need to speak to a pastor today? Just visit ulfn.org slash online pastor. Available 24 hours a day, seven days a week, free to all. I was raised in the home of a single mother with 10 children. I'm the youngest in my kind of house growing up, they protect you from people to harm you, they give you shelter, they give you food, but they don't say, I love you, how are you? They don't hug you, they don't kiss you, they don't give you no affection. I'm raised with a lot of boys, so my brothers, they're selling weed. My brothers, they're selling weed. They're womanizer, they have different girls in one day. I see all of this. In my mind, the way my brother treat girls, I'm not giving no guy the opportunity to treat me like that. So anybody you date is like, if it's not my way, there's no way. I'm not giving them the opportunity to have authority over me. I also had a grudge against my mom, not knowing that I, it was a grudge because I, I think she preferred the boys over the girls. Being raised in a home like that, you see your mom doing everything on her own. It's like you get the feminist mindset. Like, I don't need a man. So at the age of 15, I started to work. And then it came to the point where you become rebellious. I'm paying my own bills. Now I'm 18, my mom cannot tell me what to do. If I wanna go to the club, I can't go to the club. I didn't have a male figure in my life like a father. I'm assuming everything besides God. 
that is missing. I remember I went like 24 hours without showering. Um, I quit my job. Three, two o'clock in the morning, I will go out. If you ask me where I'm going, I don't even know where I'm going myself. I just know that I don't want to be inside of the house. So I started to become the nightlife, like clubbing. I was very aggressive. I will fight in the split of a second. I didn't care how big you were, if you were a guy, you were a girl, you were older. I was just ready to fight, win, lose, or draw. That was like my hobby. I was never afraid. I wasn't even afraid to walk the street. And I'm a girl, I'm young. So I started dating a guy. And of course, I have a child. I remember watching this program, but after I, I present, I felt like lighter. As I explained, I didn't hold back anything. I put everything in the email. One day, I just got up, once, one Wednesday, I just got up and said, I'm gonna come, I took the address down. I'm gonna come on my own. Same day I was coming, he was calling me. And I was already inside of the church. And then I started taking my life seriously, like, no, I have to come here. I have to start fighting for my life. I have to stop this. I told myself like that following Friday, no more clubbing. And that same Friday, a friend of mine got shot in the club. Then I said, no, it's a sign. I need to take my life seriously. And ever since that, I started making the chain of prayers. I started to feel lighter. And I mean, in this ministry, everything is straightforward to the point it hurts, but inside of you, you know it's the truth. So regardless, it's not easy. It's not an overnight um, thing, but I know I was in the right place. I came, decided I'm, I was going to receive the Holy Spirit. I did everything. I, I, I prepared myself spiritually, physically. Um, and I, I, I cried like, I'm not leaving here until. And I received the Holy Spirit that night. I felt like I just wanted to walk to Nostrand and tell everybody about Jesus. My family, we're together, we're blessed. Um, my siblings, we're together. I'm the breadwinner of my family. I mean, coming from a family where we couldn't make ends meet, we used to fight each other to pay the bills. I mean, God has blessed my financial life as well. I myself can pay everything. I even told my mom, you know, you, you can retire. I'm very happy, I'm at peace. Um, I, I wouldn't trade it for anything else in the world. Now, now I know I have something, I, I have a, like a purpose. I sleep like a baby. Um, I'm not angry, of course, and everybody that I wanted to fight, actually, I actually, I didn't just say I wanted to forgive them, I reached out to them, I called them, I prayed for them, and we have a good relationship. You feel like nothing could stop you now. So my friend, we are going to make the prayer now, but before, I have here Miss, uh, Mrs. Augustine, pain all over her body and can't walk. Trouble scene. Ms. Agostini, your name is here. Monique from Maraval, feeling stressed out. I also have Ms. Mahabi from Tunapuna, needs healing from many health issues. I also have here this person who does not want to be called from Belmont. Uh, health, strength, and happiness in the family and also relationship she needs. Andrea from Freeport, suffering with the dizziness. Ms. Rampersard from Movant, feeling down and frustrated. Natisha Frank from Arima, love life problems. I also have uh, Wilma uh, from Sangre Grande, pain in her chest, in her left side also. Anonymous from Tobago has pain in the knees. Miss Jean from Arima has body pain, want peace in her family. Joyce from Joyce Hold from Sando, cancer in the right breast and can't do surgery because has diabetes. Muriel Constananda from Port of Spain wants healing from kidney stone. Son to get a job. So friends, we are going to be making this special prayer on your behalf. But before I pray to you, I would like you to watch and see some of the people that they saw the promises of God being fulfilled in their lives because they did what God told them to do and how God told them to do. And we are going to be teaching you this Friday on Labor Day what you have to do and how you have to do for you to see God's promise. 
God works with those who revolt. Because only those who have nothing to lose are ready to obey His voice. The Campaign of Israel in the Valley of Decision. My name is Ludmilla. I am 42 years old and my occupation is a medical secretary. My suffering started when I was five years old. I had a deep depression at that age. I couldn't sleep at night. I had insomnia. I, was, I felt very lonely because of the situation that I witnessed at home. There was a lot of fighting. There was a lot of sadness in my home. And that left me very sad, very depressed. I was only a child. I wanted to be happy. I wanted to have a happy home and I didn't have it. And I reached out to friends. I reached out to going out to different clubs. And uh, I even tried different things to do so I can be happy. And I tried drugs. I was looking for love. I was looking for acceptance and I couldn't find it. I couldn't find it in relationships. I couldn't find it in friends. I couldn't find it in family. In that time, my mother was going to the universal church. And somehow I knew inside of me that I would find the answer there. So my mother, she invited me to come to the universal church. And I started going. I started my first day there. I knew something was different. The words captured me. The words were so strong. And when the pastor was praying, I felt like he was telling my whole story. I made Jesus my priority. I gave him my life. I wanted to do more. I wanted to do more. I wanted people to, to understand this love. And I seek for my family. And I learned to do sacrifices. I did a sacrifice on the altar which is something that I wanted for so long. I wanted a family. Because of all the years of suffering, I wanted a family. I wanted a husband. I wanted a husband that had the same love. I wanted the, a husband that had the same spirit as me. For that sacrifice, I knew what I wanted. I wanted a family. So God asked me for something that was very hard for me to do, which was my car. And on top of that, I had just finished paying for my car and God asked me for it. It was days going back and forth, back and forth. How am I going to give my car? How am I going to get to work? How am I going to feed my children? I needed my car. That's the only car I had it. I asked God, why are you asking me for my car? The car that I need. And it was back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. It wasn't easy. But I chose to listen to the voice of God. He did never let me down. So I knew he wasn't going to let me down. I sold my car. I put it on the altar. And today I saw the results of my campaign. Today I have a family. I married that's what I wanted. I am married with a man that loves me, respects me. He's always there with me. He does the same work as me. We love souls. For something so small as a car to what I have to compare to what I have today, it's so small. And I would do it again. And after that, I got a better car. I got a newer car. And I continue to do my campaigns because I know God, what he's going to ask me, he's going to give me something greater. The Campaign of Israel in the Valley of Decision. Praise God. So my friend, it's now the time for the prayer on your behalf. Hold your water. Hold your glass, your bottle, let us talk to God. 
My God, in the name of your son, Jesus, I pray right now, Father, on behalf of those that their names are here into the holy oil. They have called, they have texted, they have WhatsAppness asking for prayers. My God, whatever they may be, I pray and I ask you for you to visit them and for you to bless them. Holy Spirit, consecrate, sanctify this water with your power. Because after this person drinks of it, I am determined and I declare, my God, that your people will be healed, your people will be blessed, your people will see your power being manifested in their lives. In the name of Jesus, we pray on behalf of Trinidad and Tobago. Bring peace upon this land. Bring peace to these twin islands. Because, my Lord, so many people have been losing their lives because of the violence, because of the murder rate is still increasing. Many families have lost their loved ones. Protect us, God. Comfort the hearts of those who have lost one of their loved ones. In Jesus' name, I surrender those who are praying together with us into your hands, and we bless God, all of them. In Jesus' name, amen. So my friend, drink of your water now and be blessed. We have come to the end of our participation here, but 1 p.m. we are going to have Pastor Junior here together with you on the Sam YouTube channel. And he's going to come up with the miracle hour. Later on, Pastor Mark was at 5.30 with the strong nation. And I'd like to invite all of you for the night prayer, 9 p.m., especially tomorrow night, Thursday, that we are going to have a very special prayer on your behalf in preparation for the Labor Day, in preparation for the fulfillment of God's promises in your life this Friday holiday, 7 in the morning, 8.30 in the morning, and also 10 o'clock. For now, my friend, you are going to have a very blessed Wednesday. You are going to take a look now very quick in what uh, way the Universal Church alongside with the Unisocial has been helping plenty families. By the way, in the last six months, we have distributed over 7,000 hampers. Besides that, we have helped so many homeless people by feeding them with breakfast and dinner. And also we have distributed 200 lunch for the children of the mothers that have lost their jobs during this terrible pandemic that also has affected Trinidad and Tobago. You are going to see now and we are going to be back at one with the Miracle Hour. Hello everyone, a special good day to you all. Once more again, we are doing this unisocial work. Help the families, help those who are in need. And today, I am here in the church of Tunapuna, and we are going to do this special work. We are going now to the community. Uh, what's the name of the community? We're going in a zone where there is a community of bamboo trees, Sesame Street, and Fairly Hill. We are going to this community now to do this donation. We have here approximately uh, 30, 30 hampers and we are going to donate. Today, 30 families, they are going to be happy. And look what the Word of God says. The Word of God says like this, whatever you want man to do for you, do yourself to them. This is exactly what the Lord Jesus, he said, he spoke. So, so many times you want to people to help you, but maybe you are in that condition that yourself, you can help, you can make a family happy. And today I'm going to talk to this lady. What's your name, miss? Miss Marcia. Miss Marcia, tell us uh, what exactly, how is the situation of the people in this community? A lot of them are, they, know, they don't have any jobs, they're unemployed. And a lot of them are pensioners and they have no way of even helping their own families who have lost jobs. So that's the condition where a lot of them are not working as a, 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 a group of families living in you, you can remove your mask, no problem. <laughs> yes, tell us. Who are pensioners and they're taking care of their grandkids. They don't have any condition 
to help even their, 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 their children and their family who have lost their jobs. So a lot of them have serious responsibilities. A lot of them have 10, 10 members in a house. They have the kids. So you are saying that some of them, they have, look to this, they have 10 members in the house. 10 members living in one house. It have some of them, it's about five. The kids, they, the kids not going to school, some of them. They don't know if they will be able to go back out to work. So they have no clue what is their situation at this time. It's really, really, really heartbreaking to hear their stories. Well, dear friend, and that's the reason why we are going now to help them. Together with the members here of our church in Tunapuna, we are going to volunteer ourselves in order to help to those who are in need. And you viewers, you also, you can do, you can make your donation. Because imagine how happy they would be when this hamper reach to their hands. And this is the work of the Unisocial. And you also, you can make your donation you can pass to one of the universal church close to you and you can drop food items you can make your donation or if you want you can call this number because we have our driver you can come by you we can come by your location and collect from you whatever you have whatever you can give in order to help those who are in need or if you do like to make your donation online as you can see the account name of the church and also the account number you can send your donation because through your help we are going to help a lot of people from here from Tunapuna we go now to the community to donate hampers and for sure many families they are going to be happy today may God bless you see you have been watching Beyond Limits.